Hey Jackals, did you like what you saw? Well today, we'll be making a flicker light ghost effect in DaVinci Resolve. Now let's get digital. <laughs> now we have a couple of ways on how to do this effect. The best way in my opinion is to have an actual blinking light. Now I have a DIY video on how to do this and what I've also used is a switch so that you can switch between the blinking and the constant light. And what that looks like is something like this. And obviously you need two video clips. One is with the light blinking and the other is with the light on and the ghost, in that case it was me, in the background. So I can use this video clip as an example. And what you can then do, lower the opacity on this one, go to the inspector, lower the opacity and go over the bottom clip to see where the light turns on and off. In this case, it turns on with the clip selected, control B to cut it, use the right arrow, the light is on again, move this clip over here, see where the light turns off, at this point control B and just repeat this process. That will have to do. What I can also do is go to timeline resolution, set this to quarter so that it renders faster. And once you have the clips cut, select all of them. If you haven't, put this back and set the opacity back to 100. And now you have a ghost-like effect. Now what you can also do is to go into the color page. Now before you go into the color page to change how the clip looks, make sure that the opacity is set to 100. Otherwise you will see the clip beneath it and you will think that you have made some good changes, which will not be the case. So with the clip selected, go into the color page. Now what you can do is apply some LUTs. Most likely none of them will be what you want them to be. So how you will do this manually, if you want the black and white footage, is to go to this tab and change the saturation to zero. And then just play around with the other options. Maybe you want to increase the highlights or the shadows, and that could be it. With the clip selected, copy it and select the clip below, Alt V, and paste the color correction that we just made. So now this clip has the same settings. And we can do the same to these clips so I'll just select them, Alt-V, color correction, and now we have the ghost footage. Another way how you could cut this out is to maybe use a solid. So this is under the effects, search for solid, leave it to black, change the clip duration to frames and put in one. And then you'll simply copy them a bunch of times. But in this case, the whole footage blinks. Now, if you want to add some overlay on top and bottom, like I have, just use the solid color, go to settings, adjust the crop, and use the softness. Now, this can be done with just one solid background, so you need to do it twice. Once for the top and once for the bottom. So you can simply copy it and flip it around. And the one that's flipped will have to adjust the size. Now another way how you could do this effect, I'll just reset the node grade for this one so you can see the difference between the blinking light with the actual switch and with the built-in effect that DaVinci Resolve has. So this is with the built-in effect. And this is with the switch. Now what the effect doesn't have, that you can achieve with the switch, is the light turning off like this. So what you need for this, this clip is basically a light that is always turned on. So you can go to the effects, type in flicker, go to open effects and apply this to the video clip. Choose the effects and you have a couple of options and you'll simply have to play around to get the look that you want. In this case, to get the result that I wanted, I used these options. And it looked pretty similar to the actual switch blinking. 
minus the actual light, turning off. So now I have an awesome footage with a fake ghost, but to sell this effect, you need some sound effects. I have a video on how to install them, but the ones that I've used, they don't come with the Winch Resolve, they come with Adobe Sounds, which is also free. Now in the sketch, I've also added the text and lined it up. How I've done that is I simply overlaid it. In the top one, I have lowered the opacity and then simply adjusted the position. And this is just a solid background with a black color. So I've aligned it, the bottom text, to here. I've also aligned sounds to these black backgrounds. As for the top clip, this is an adjustment clip and I've used an effect, but I think this effect is only in the studio version, which is film damage. But you can use any other effect as an overlay, simply put it on top and adjust the composite mode depending on the video clip, but most likely this will be an overlay or maybe soft light. And that's it. If you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.